But on the screen right now, we got two greats. Who do we got for us? Well, we have Minty Fresh and Elia Kim. Speaking of great talent, right? These are people you would expect to see in top eights of locals here in the New York region. Elia Kim, Westchester PR, Minty Flush has been around for a hot minute and has been tearing people up left and right. I forget which region he's from originally, but not from the city. However, has done very, very well since his arrival here and even beforehand. So to see these players paired up in round two of pools is a testament to just how stacked this bracket is. This tournament is very stacked. And one of the cool things about this tournament is that there's actually bounties going around. And Eliakim is one of those players. He's got a $10 bounty on his head, which means if uh, Mintley Flesh were to win this set, he would get half of that. And then if, if somebody else beat him in loses bracket, he gets another half. So Yeah, and what's, you know, Minty is definitely liking those odds. By playing Mega Man here against Snake, widely considered to be Snake's worst matchup because of just how easy it is for Mega Man to disrupt those nades, force you low, and kill you with a hard knuckle, or just juggle you off the top with Tornado, and just the preference you have for similar stages, right? We are already seeing it just so good at contesting Snake under the center plat of Smashville, where Snakes are known for building a little bit of a house keeping you out and never letting you retake stage control. Yeah, it's just so hard to approach that man when he's underneath the platform and there's a giant one underneath the Smash uh, Smashville uh, stage. So definitely got to be uh, wary in the way in which you approach. So, uh, But and Mintley's doing a great job so far. Yeah, Minty finding that back air after that down throw at ledge. That could have confirmed into an F-tilt, pushed Minty off ledge and found the stock early because of how her box shifts work. Unfortunately, Eliakim didn't recognize the situation, didn't go for it, and lost the stock first. Now has to not just work his way back from a deficit, but do so against Mega Man. And Leaf Shield's just so good at keeping things a snake a, 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 unable to grab you, right? Force you to play at more of this mid range. And, and, and again, we're seeing all of Mega Man's tools just so good at disrupting this matchup, but eventually Nikita's going to close it on out, Waffle. Yeah, close it on out at a really high percent. Min Minty must be very happy with how that first stock went. Did a great job of preventing Eliakim from getting into his game plan, which I think is like such a huge thing when you're playing against Snake, because it's so hard to do that. But Mega Man is one of those characters who, on a good day, can do it. And uh, we're seeing it come into play a little bit. But El Eliakim is starting to get into the rhythm of things. Yep, and I love that double grenade there to force out the air dodge because Minty had already committed to going high, would have had to air dodge back to ledge, the leaf shield off just to retake stage control. He's okay taking a trade there. Remember, both these characters are heavy, right? They're both going to live for a long time, even if they don't look it. So trades aren't as much in Snake's favor as they normally would be here against Mega Man. And the F smash not going to find its mark. And now you have to find your way past Nikita and back to the ledge. Something that Eliakim Kim has locked down up until this point. Yes, definitely so far. And I love the way you mentioned these characters' weights and that trades won't matter. It's only, it's basically who has the lead that wants to trade more. Baby. Like right now, I bet Eliakim Kim will take the trades because he's up stocks, you know? He was just cooking, dude. Footstool <laughs> into C4, trying to find the neutral air. Didn't find the mark. Looked for the down, th or down air tech chase there. But... D wasn't able to do so. Great get up attack from Minty, and he's gonna find the edge guard, keeping this close. Nobody has really managed to pull away with a significant lead yet. Both these characters very capable of closing this gap, right? Eliakim, him, if he's only able to find these nades, find these straight hits, not take stage control, eventually Minty's gonna find an opportunity to find his way in just like this, find that stage control, and now Eliakim's gotta get out of the corner against Mega Man. He does have to get out of the corner against Mega Man, and we've seen so far today that Minty is capable of getting edgeguard KOs on him, so Eliakim must be very careful if he's not, oh my god, Minty with an insane read there doesn't get uh, work out for him, and he might get reversal right here on the edge guard. I love the air dodge down there through the Nikita, but because he did that, he was in the air so long that he just didn't have Legend Vuln, right? Was able to kind of get called alled out for it and took the hit on his way back. Now just has to find his way through these nades. But because of those lobs, right, pellets aren't able to disrupt it in the way you normally would. He's finding his way all the way back into what's now a last hit situation. Lycom has to find his way down. It's so hard against Mega Man, but the multi-hit back air gonna trade with nade giving him one more chance. The nade was so crucial there for uh, Eliakim to get out of that back air He's and get another alive. chance at living. But Bro, that booty is thick. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. The back throw is not going to do it, but it's another opportunity for Minty to get an edge guard, and the forward air is going to do it, and Minty takes game one. Yeah, Eliakim just opting for the, the fast fall, but just chose not to push a button there. 
or whether it was a lack of confidence, whether it was I'm just going to try to fast fall air dodge through you, it's hard to tell because he never ended up committing to really any single option. And that moment of freezing was what really allowed Minty to write, just take his time, line up that forward air, and seal out the game one. Remember, folks, this is only winner's best of two. This is a bet with, uh, round two, which means we are in best of three territory. E yeah. E Aliyah Kim's back is against the wall, and this would be by far the earliest that he has gone down to losers in this venue in a very long time. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's the amount of talent that are here today, you know. Min <laughs> Minty and Aliyah Kim will pr would probably not be fighting this early in the bracket on another day. That just sh goes to show how many people popped out for this event. Uh, but yeah, Aliyah Kim definitely um, didn't do too all too bad, especially in a bad matchup for Snake, so... You know, just keep uh, getting your punish scans, maybe close out a couple edge guards good, and you, you're right back in it. But Minty's going to try to prevent that really hard. Yep, and I like I like the counter pick. I like going back here. Again, the, you don't these characters like similar stages, and you don't want to take Mega Man to a larger stage just because his, his mobility is higher, which allows him to just kind of dance around you, control the pace of the match a little bit better than Snake. Where on these small stages, he at least is forced to scrap. He's at least forced to fight around and play around these grenades rather than just batting them away with, with pellets and leaf shields. And we're seeing Eliakim early here take full advantage, finding the jab one mix-ups. He has implemented jab to the nth degree this game after not doing it at all in game number one. And that adjustment's really helped him out here early. Yeah, definitely has worked out really really well early for him. But he has still not been able to take this stop off of Mintly, Mint, Minty. And uh, that could be costly in the end if Minty is able to take the first stock here in this game one. Eliakim swinging here. You see he's scared of looking for a grab. Uh, Minty past that magical 159.2 range, which means down right down throw up tilt. True combo. What a tech to find his way back. And the oh up my smash God. not going to do it either. These players swinging back and forth. They are scrapping. And Waffle, these two guys are scared of each other. Minty is at 100 or 220%. How often do you see somebody live that long and then take the first stock? That is a huge statement for Minty in this game, too. And able to find the spring dog there out off the angel platform, making Eliakim stay in the air and in that bounce flag all the way through his iframes. He didn't get any advantage from them, but still able to close it out, right? Only a 2% deficit. We are right back to even, but it's Snake with stage control and Mega Man now the one tasked with dislodging in this slithery little predator. This slithery little predator? Is that what you could call them yeah. right now? Bro, he's uh, a snake. I mean, I guess. He's yeah. going through the grass. Tom Nook better watch out. He might get swallowed whole. Oh my God, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> definitely look out for that. But definitely look out for these combos from Eliakim. What the heck is this custom shit going on? Yeah. I'm right now, out, out, not much. He's just trying to find a way out of disadvantage. Beautiful little wave land there, right? Just across that Minty, who has made great use of these grenades. He knows the timing and is just catching Eliakim with them in hand after he's recaught them as an item um, to get an explosion and then allow Minty the ability to find this continuation. It's forcing Eliakim to really play with these nades close to his shield and not giving him the opportunity to control space in the way he would like. Yeah, you can tell these uh, these players have played the matchup a lot based on oh like no. based on like heads up plays on like grenades and and uh, metal blades and stuff. They're all they're both really good at using their other items mm -hmm. and aware of like what the other can do with it. So it's been really impressive so far. I absolutely agree with you, Waffle. Both these players are can ha have by showing you their familiarity, as you mentioned. And and right now though it's. Eliakim once again finally finding a grab gonna put you off stage but trying to find a way to close it out and the Crash Bomber is gonna trade best case scenario for Minty he, he just wants to find some extra credit here ideally to hold on to the stock to boot but against Snake at 160 right that's a luxury that you are not gonna be able to afford sir or Tom Nook those property tax and going through the roof you cannot buy those that extra that little bit extra. Yeah, I'm ha I'm happy to like him actually, you know, closed out the stock there because on the first stock of this game, he lived to 220%. So closing it out at a little, something a little better, 170, he's able to stay in this game, not let uh, Minty get too far of a lead. I like, th I like that from like him. And honestly, like, both these players have been scrapping back and forth. I like that you mentioned that 220% because we're seeing just how much 
extra Minty has got off here, but yet it, and how much Eliakim has really been the one controlling the pace of the game, yet it feels like he's the one on his back foot because he's only able to get these straight hits, right? He hasn't been able to find these advantage states. We're seeing swings with forward air. We're seeing all sorts of risks like dash and grab when he doesn't need to that are gonna cost him losing the set 2-0 because even though he wasn't on the surf on the surface he was controlling the pace of the match 